Airplane is a developer platform for quickly building custom internal tools. In this video, we'll go over how to use Airplane to create powerful, multi-step workflows using code. Let's say we're at a SaaS company and a common recurring workflow is that our customer success team needs to upgrade a company's payment plan to allow for a larger number of seats. This workflow has a few steps. First, we need to search for the company in our production database based on a search string. Then we need to select the desired company. Finally, we can run a query or hit an endpoint to upgrade the company's plan to add more seats. Every business operation in Airplane is called a task. We're going to create a task that represents this workflow and lets our customer success team upgrade a company's payment plan. Airplane has a command line utility you can use to get started. First, we'll run Airplane Tasks init to create a new task. We'll call this task Upgrade Company and use JavaScript. This creates a file called upgradecompany.airplane.ts. This file will contain the logic of our task. By default, the task doesn't do much. It just displays a hard-coded array of values. When we run airplane dev locally, this opens up a browser window that lets us run this task and try it out. When we execute it, we see the hard-coded values from the code. Let's change the task to do something interesting. In our upgrade company workflow, the first step was to actually look up the company in the database based on a search string. At the top of the task here, I'm going to add in a resource that points to our demo database as well as a single parameter for the search string. Then I'm going to add some code in this function that actually makes a SQL query against a demo database. I'm using a SQL query here, but I could also have had Airplane hit a REST endpoint or make a third-party API call. This is just normal TypeScript code, so I have a ton of flexibility in what kind of logic I want to have executed here. When we rerun the task, it now shows an input field asking for the search keyword. If I search for partners, then I get several companies in our search results that match that keyword. Next, I want to let the user select which company they want to upgrade. For this, we're going to use a prompt. This lets us ask the user for additional inputs in the middle of the execution of this task. This block of code is going to render a prompt that asks the user to select one of the companies. Let's run our task again to see what happens. This time, we can select one of the companies. Finally, let's add in the ability to upgrade the selected company's account. I'll add in this block of code here. This defines a second task which takes in two parameters, the company ID and the number of seats, in order to run the upgrade operation. I'm going to call this function from within our main function where the rest of the logic lives. I'm also going to add the number of seats parameter to our primary task. Let's rerun this and see what happens. Just like before, we can select a company based on the search keyword, but now it performs a seat upgrade as well. That's it. Now that our task is working, we can deploy this to Airplane using this command line tool. It will then show up in our Airplane account alongside every other task or view you've created, and anyone on our customer success team can now come in and run this workflow themselves. There's a lot more to Airplane than just tasks like this one. Our workflow engine offers the ability to create loops to execute things in bulk, add in conditional logic, handle errors, execute long-running operations of up to 60 days, and much more. Sign up for free at airplane.dev to try it out today.